In today's video, we're going to take a look at why so many people are choosing to retire to Cedar City, Utah to help you decide if this is the right place for you to retire. My name is Elizabeth Prisby. I'm with Stratum Real Estate Group. If you are thinking you'd like to make a move to Cedar City or really anywhere in Southern Utah, I would love to help you out with that. Please feel free to call, text, or email anytime. My contact information is down below in the description. All right. Now, what I've noticed from many of my clients that I have helped move to Cedar City is that most of them are retail retirees, meaning they have chosen Cedar City to retire to. We're going to take a look at the main reasons or benefits of Cedar City and why they chose to make Cedar City their home. And then we'll also take a look at a few of the challenges that they found since moving here. Now, these aren't going to be in any particular order. Of course, everyone's preferences are different. However, these are going to be the top reasons that people have noted for wanting to make Cedar City their home. The first one is going to be that Cedar City is surrounded by scenic beauty. We have some beautiful mountains to the east side of Cedar City and then we have three peaks to the west as well as some farmland that kind of flattens out on the northern and southern ends of town. We do have the juniper tree here so we can see that all around the valley and then if you head up into the mountains you are surrounded by pine trees up towards Duck Creek and Bryan Head. We are in close proximity to many national parks including Zion National Park as well as Bryce Canyon and then of course we have Sand Hollow State Park, we have Snow Canyon State Park, Coral Pink Sand Dunes that are all within less than an hour's drive from Cedar City. Now with having all that scenic beauty around, it makes it really easy to access all of the hiking and walking trails that are nearby. Many of my clients that are retired are looking for hiking trails. They want to be out in the outdoors. They're done working, they're retired. They want to go out and explore and enjoy those trails without having to drive clear across the country. So being in proximity to that kind of recreational activity is really something that is drawing people here as well. The second one is going to be the mild climate. Although we are in a desert, we are in a high desert. So we will get four mild seasons, meaning we are getting snow in the winter time. We have an actual fall where the leaves change colors and that temperature cools off and it's really beautiful. The spring comes, the flowers bloom, and then in the summertime, we do have warm summers, but they're not so hot that they're unbearable. Our seasons truly are very mild, but we are getting four seasons. Now, St. George, Utah, which is about a 45 minute drive south of Cedar City, Utah, is really known for its retirement community. So a lot of people are also retiring to St. George. However, the climate in St. George is quite a bit different than it is in Cedar City. St. George really has two seasons. It has summer and it has winter. And really the winter doesn't get that cold. You're not going to see snow. A lot of people really enjoy that, but the summers are are very hot. If you are looking for a great place to retire with that scenic beauty, but you still want those four seasons that are mild, Cedar City is a great place for that. And then if you do feel like you want to warm up in the winter time, you really can make that drive down to St. George in a short amount of time and warm up a little bit in those winter months. The third reason, and probably one of the main reasons that I hear people say of retiring in Cedar City is the cost of living. We are 2% lower than the national average according to payscale.com. Com. I moved here from Las Vegas, Nevada. Of course, I'm still working. I have not retired yet, but what I have noticed, just the small month to month things is my car insurance was significantly less. And then also my utilities are quite a bit less, especially my power. So that is one area where you may see cost of living go down depending on where you are coming from. And then of course, you'll wanna take a look at the property taxes. Of course, my buyers that are coming here from California see a significant decrease in property taxes as well as those that have come in from New York, you'll really want to take a look at yours as well as ours and see if that will decrease your cost of living. When you are retiring and you are on a more fixed income, those month to month costs really make a difference to you. And so the cost of living really is something that brings people here to retire. So that is definitely a highlight that my retired clients are finding that they really love about Cedar City. The fourth thing is going to be that community and quality of life, really those recreational activities that this small town offers. It is a small town, so there is a great community here. We've got the Utah Shakespeare Festival here, which really brings a lot of culture to town. We have a lot of different festivals, events. We have a farmer's market that happens weekly. We actually have a couple that happen weekly. We have events that take place at the library. In the summertime, we have the July Jamboree, which the main street will fill up with a car show, lots of different vendors. So there's a lot of different opportunities to get out, to meet your neighbors, and to really have 
that small town community. With that small town community is people are very friendly. And I'm going to share an example with you. This actually just happened yesterday, so it's really fresh in my mind. But my 90 year old grandfather fell out on the driveway. And before I could even get out to him, three neighbors that were driving by stopped, got out of the car and came over to help or to see if we needed help. They helped me get him into the car without even knowing who I was or who he was and just were so concerned and so helpful. And I couldn't believe how quickly the response was, even though I've been living here and I know how friendly people are. So really it is a friendly community and it's a great place to retire. People genuinely love to help out and they love to meet you. And honestly, if you walk into a store when you get here, someone's going to be wanting to have a conversation with you. So be sure to make time for that. Now this leads me to number five, which is healthcare access. We do have an Intermountain Hospital here. We have several clinics and doctor's offices. It is a great hospital. It's not one of the largest. However, St. George, which again is only 45 minutes south, has some of the best healthcare in the state. There is also a helicopter pad. So if you do need to be transferred up to Salt Lake or down to St. George, that can happen fairly quickly. Now I want to continue this example that I had with my grandfather yesterday. The neighbors helped me get him in the car. I took him right to the emergency room. I pulled up to the emergency entrance. I ran inside to see if somebody could come out, out and help me get him in because I wasn't strong enough to do that. Within one minute, they had somebody outside with a wheelchair. They helped me load him, take him inside. I went and parked the car. By the time I got inside, they were ready for me and him, took us back to a room where they immediately started checking his vitals, inputting his information into the system, and were ready to take care of him. I'm from Las Vegas. When you go to the emergency room in Las Vegas, you're sitting there for four or five hours. I was blown away at how quickly the response was. Now I did take my kids a few years ago when all three of us had COVID. That time took us about 30 minutes to get back. And when they came out, they were apologizing over and over. I'm so sorry this took so long. We didn't realize you were here. And I was flabbergasted then as well. I could not believe that they were so apologetic that it took them 30 minutes to come out and get us for the emergency room. Anyway, that should go to show you what kind of care you are going to get at the hospital here. Everyone was very friendly, very helpful, and it was great not to sit out there and wait in a waiting room. Now, of course, with every place that you are looking to move to, there are going to be some challenges. So there are a few that I do want to take a look at just so that you are aware of them. The first one is going to be religious and social dynamics. The majority of Cedar City is Mormon, not as much as there used to be. There has been a lot of migration here, so it isn't quite as overpowering as it used to be. Now, you'll find that the Mormon culture is very friendly. They are very welcoming, very helpful. However, some people have noted that although they are very friendly, it is difficult to make more deep connections and friendships if they are not part of that dominant religion. With that in mind, everyone's experience is going to be different. You are going to be welcomed. It is going to be a friendly community, but it will be up to you to make deep connections with people. And then another challenge people have noted is the wind, which can affect the air quality. We do have a spring here, which means we do have a lot of pollen that is coming down and it is typically a windier time of year. So you want to make sure that you visit and that the air quality doesn't bother you. In general, we have very clean air, but when that wind picks up, it will pick up dust with it or it will pick up that pollen and you may feel it. Now, as far as the wind goes, for the most part, we have really calm mornings and evenings. It will start to pick up around noon during the day. So so if you find that you love Cedar City, but you don't like being out in the wind, try to stay inside during that time period. I love it here. I don't love the wind. So I've kind of tried to just work around it. But those are a few of the challenges that have been noted. Overall, people that are choosing to retire here say that the beauty, the affordability, and the community really outweigh any of those cons that they have found. All right, that pretty much wraps it up. Of course, there are going to be other benefits and challenges. If you are watching this and you live here, or you've chosen to retire here, please feel free leave those down in the comments so that that will help somebody out. I'm sure I haven't noted everything that you have thought of. So definitely put something down there that you think will help the next person in their decision to move to Cedar City. Remember, my name is Elizabeth Prisby. If you are looking to make a move here or really anywhere in Southern Utah, I would love to help you out with that. Please feel free to reach out anytime. I promise you I will respond. All right. Until next time, have a wonderful day.